Hi Zesty Besties, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Lemon and today I'm showing you how to install the Chattybot, which is this amazing tool that I use to interact with Twitch chat and it shows me any type of alerts that any type of bots such as stream elements um, misses. So it really allows me to be stay on top of track and it is literally the best Twitch tool. So just want to preface that this is not sponsored. I literally um, just wanted to share with my community by showing them this video um, if they want to possibly um, see how I do my thing on Twitch. So I hope this is helpful. The two applications you are going to need, they're both in the description below, but it's the chatty bot, which allows you to evidently see, see chat. It also has a lot of other freaking fun features that we are going to be exploring today. And there's also the see-through window. Evidently, as I just said, they're going to be both in the description um I'm, this is what allows me to put twitch chat on all of my windows except for valorant i think that's the only one because of their anti-cheat agent um but every other game such as such as back for blood dead by daylight um phasmophobia all of all of the games that i played on stream um allow me to have this see through window and it's awesome and i really enjoy it all right Let's get into it. All right, so this is what it looks like on my screen. I usually have it about this size because evidently I want to be able to see it. And I try to put it in tight in like a place where like most games you don't really need to need like to see it. The only time I've had any issues with this with like this specific um, placement is whenever I play DBD and I'm like against the like doctor. Sometimes, sometimes I have to look at my other screen, but that's the only time that I've had a bad placement but this is where i where like i put mine you can change it so you can change it around over here over here over here it's great i i love it i usually try to put it right over here for my own preference let's now put it into dark mode so um if you if you just got it you're probably going to be in light mode that's not what you want so let's go into chat colors i put it underneath of twitch twitch um twitch dark it looks really good I really like it and it allows me to have it just dark. It's really nice. Go into settings, go into um, badges. Make sure that you can see people's badges. You can also show bot badges. You can also um, enable all, all types of third party emojicons such as better TTV, ranker face Z, and you also just i feel like you should get all of these um you can also you can also um enabled um emote animations it's really nice i really personally like it if you go into messages you can also show band durations you can also show messages i tend i tend to not see messages just because it's not really worth it to live to live stream disable this okay this little button I think it was meant for a reason, but pretty much will give you a highlighted notification if you, if you look at my screen down below here where it will be a yellow chat color and it will tell you every single time um, anyone that you follow goes live. I don't think it's really needed. I don't think it's very necessary. I don't need to know whenever another streamer goes live if you're streaming, so just disable that for your own well being please um but i just think it's a really cool one i tend to not have sounds on so i don't i don't think i have any sounds on yeah so definitely make sure that you turn off the sound file and i don't tend to have any oh i guess there's custom commands you can also create in here so if you uh, definitely i haven't i haven't looked in, into it too much i don't think i've changed anything else um but yeah that's pretty much what i have and it works really well so evidently this is good but we want to get it as an overlay so this is where the this is where the see-through window comes in usually it's going to be um in your little dashboard of different apps and you want to you want you want to do options and my hotkey is shift z so whenever i want to make it click through i do shift z i have a transparency um i have i have i have it opaque I don't I feel like it's a little bit distracting when it's a little bit um, too transparent so all I do is I lock onto the screen so I, I click the bot and I do control shift Z and then if I click on anything else it's on top of any other screen it makes me focus on chat um purse so if ever you end up messing up so let's say that you accidentally click on your Google tab and you do control shift Z now this is on top of everything. You cannot get rid of it. You cannot get it rid of it. Um, everything's gonna be behind it. So let's let's maybe go and let's open up um, your files. Your files are not showing up. 
you accidentally uh, put this on top of everything. All you, all you do, okay, all you do is you, you exit the app. And then it's going to enable you to be able to close it. It's going to be able to, to like close it. So I've done it a few times where I accidentally control shift Z my tabs on Google and such just go and exit it and then you have to reopen it. So you look up see through window. It's going to reopen up for you and then you're going to be able to just click on the chatty box control shift Z, and it works out. I know that this is a really simple um, VOD but I don't know I just think it's something that I literally I love. I love it. I love this app. Um, I've been looking for a transparent overlay for so long now and this just enabled me to to have one and I love that I get to see everything it gives me channel point redemptions it's directly through twitch which is my favorite so that it has like no delay and I get to customize it if I didn't want to see certain notifications I could turn it off all right well I hope this was all super freaking helpful this is not sponsored I've never talked to anyone from the chatty or the see-through window I just ended up learning about this amazing tool and it really enables me to you stay up to date on chat um, and I just really wanted to share this with you guys I know that I've been telling people that they need it and I have been able to send them like a video um, so this is probably the one I'm gonna send you um, thank you for being my friend um, but I hope this is super freaking helpful and have a good day bye